Brooding can be very stressful to the farmer and if done poorly, this can lead to loss of chicks. I know of farmers who keep off poultry farming because of the narrative that brooding, brooding is difficult and risky. Yes, of course, it's not easy and I agree to it that it is risky, but it depends on how you approach this whole thing. In today's video, I've come to counter that narrative by telling you that it is very possible to achieve 98% chick survival rate during brooding. In today's video, I'll, I will discuss with you the preparation procedures you should do seven days before your chicks arrive at the farm. Watch the whole video because at the end I will give you five tips of what to do 24 hours before the chicks arrive at your farm. If you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Also hit the like button because that psychs me up to continue posting to you um, amazing and informative videos. At the first thing that you're going to do seven days before the chicks arrive at the farm, number one is that you're going to clean and disinfect the chicken coop thoroughly using a good disin disinfectant. Pathogens, for example, bacteria and viruses are the major causes of uh, many diseases that affect uh, our chickens. Some pathogens are very stubborn and persistent. That is why disinfecting the chicken coop seven days before the chicks arrive at your farm is so crucial to make sure that the health of the chick is guaranteed. During the chicken coop disinfection, uh, make sure you also disinfect the production equipment that is the brooder, the heaters, the feeders and also the drinkers. And number two, after the inside of the chicken coop have been disinfected, prepare a foot dip at the entrance of the coop and fill it with the disinfectant solution. Anyone going in and out of the coop must dip their feet inside the foot dip this is good bio this is a very good biosecurity measure to ensure no pathogens gets to reach the chicks from the outside this helps to control disease transmission the third important thing that you're going to do is cover up the walls with the transil translucent uh, polythene material this is to ensure the openings are covered so as to trap heat and stop wind in the chicken house during brooding the fourth important thing that you're going to do is to lock up the chicken coop. This is very essential because it makes sure unauthorized people cannot get into the chicken house. Also, this will keep away rodents and other intruders who can bring diseases into the chicken coop before the chick arrive at the farm. Now, that we have discussed what to do seven days before the chicks arrive at the farm. As I had promised you, let me tell you what to do exactly 24 hours before the arrival of the chicks at the farm. Number one, you are going to spread the wood shavings to a maximum depth of five centimeters above the floor. If you are brooding inside a cage, place newspapers or plywood on the floor of the cage. Number two, you are going to light up the heaters. You can be using, for example, the, the electric bulbs, the charcoal burner, stove, or the gas brooders, etc. It depends on which heater you, you choose to use. Also place a digital or analog thermometer to monitor the temperature of the brooders. The required temperature of the brooder at that day when the chicks arrive at the farm should be 34 degrees celsius or 93 degrees fahrenheit number three you are going to make sure the light from the bulbs is sufficient and that the floor is easily seen if there is a need to add more bulbs do so immediately this will ensure that the chicks will be able to see the feeds easily without struggling if they do not see at the feeds properly, then they are not going to eat and this can lead to fatalities. Number four, you are going to arrange the feeders and the drinkers based on the number of the chicks. And the fifth thing that you are going to do is that you are going to adjust the feeders and drinkers well so that the chicks can reach the feed and water easily. After doing this, now you are ready to receive the chicks and you will be guaranteed of a high chick survival rate. Make sure that you click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how banana leaf milk can be used to boost uh, growth rate and your, the performance of the broilers in your farm. 